Hey you guys, welcome to your bi-weekly love reading. <coughs> Excuse me, this is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising for the weeks of January the 20th through the 31st, 2020. So I want to thank you guys for liking, sharing, and subscribing to my channel. I ask that you all please continue to do so. Remember, these are general, so they may or may not resonate, but hopefully they give you some clarity. <coughs> Also, if you guys want to order your reading, um, a personal reading, you can email me. Uh, payments are collected on Fridays. Make sure to check the description box for my email address. Um, if you're wanting to reach me by phone, that's a separate process. I normally uh, post a notification when I'm taking the calls. So make sure you're subscribed so that you can get those notifications of when I'm taking live phone calls. And um, if you want to support this channel, be sure to visit my Patreon. So we have the central issue, heart of the matter, judgment. We have the nine of cups, eight of wands. We have justice. We have the world. We have the hanged man. We have the page of swords. And we have the king of pinnacles. All right, so I feel like there is a need to um, get back to some sort of unfinished business and tie up some sort of loose ends. I'm seeing closure. Um, I also see someone who is maybe ready to communicate uh, or ready to put themselves out there to get to know people. If, if you're already in a relationship, I feel like there are things that need to be, be discussed um, things that have been put on a back burner that you can't ignore anymore. So something something is being reactivated or reawakened, especially something that may have been dead or silent. Um, there's something's being brought to back to life. There's renewal. Someone has new energy. Um, so whether again whether that's you feeling um, encouraged or inspired to start dating or talking to other people, putting yourself out there, accepting phone calls, accepting applications, that might be your energy. Um, if this was a situation where there was uh, a falling out, you hadn't been talking to someone, it looks like you may hear from this person, there's going to be some sort of messages uh, exchange of messages and I feel like someone's gonna be happy with the messages that they're seeing too so there there could be some sort of flirting or someone is saying things that you like to hear um, there is a sense of uh, pleasure going on there is yeah some sort of pleasing energy and see it's funny that I said pleasure because I didn't see it at first but now I see it that there is going to be some sort of uh, self-pleasuring where someone has been pleasuring themselves to your selfies or your pictures or if you ever sent someone any type of, uh, you know, risky photos, I feel that someone's been pleasuring themselves to them. <coughs> this, um, this also looks like some sort of triggering. Like, it just looks like activation, activation. So I guess there's going to be communication and you're going to have closure. Now, some of you could be dealing with um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. There is some sort of um, soul contract. For some of you, a soul contract is coming to an end and you'll be uh, relieved of that karmic debt and you get to move on, especially if you feel like you've been stuck. Um, this can go either way. If you were in a relationship, it does look like there is going to be closure and you get to let go or you get to move on from this relationship. If you've been single, that's a contract too. Like you have uh, some sort of contract of solitude with yourself. So it's a possibility that that contract could be coming to an end pretty soon. Now, I also feel that there need to be adjustments in your life so that things can move forward or so that things can progress. There may be some sort of delay still. 
I feel like there's delayed energy going on, especially in regards to any type of legalities or any type of trip or traveling or relocating. Um, hmm. I feel like there is a need to see things from a different perspective or a higher perspective. Usually when there uh, are delays, I feel like it's because spiritually you're needing to see things differently. And once you have some sort of understanding about your situation, um, I feel that you will be released from that hold or that stagnation. I also feel that there needs to be some sort of sacrifice in order to have love. So it could be that maybe you have been isolated or guarded or not wanting to let people in your life or not wanting to be vulnerable. So I feel that if you want love, you have to be willing to be vulnerable. Um, you have to change your mindset. I feel like you're having an awakening or it, yeah, it looks like some sort of awakening. Even if you already feel like you've had a spiritual awakening, this is still another awakening, some sort of um, moment of clarity that you need to have. You may start to view someone differently or someone may be viewing you differently. There's someone at a distance from you. I feel like there needs to be traveling. Um, if someone has been planning to see you, I feel like there have been delays. Someone has been held back because of legalities or legal issues. Like maybe someone was not allowed to leave until um, they had some taken care of some sort of travel documents. Um, maybe someone could not leave until something was court ordered, like maybe someone had been court ordered, um, to, to take care of some things before they could leave their, uh, city, state, or country. There could be something going on with child, uh, support, um, uh, some I, I just feel like for some of you, contractual agreements have been causing delays in your love life. Somehow those two are linked. I do feel like there's going to be some sort of settlement. Some of you are going to um, be completing the dot signing of divorce papers. Uh, some of you are going to be maybe finalizing the selling of your home. Um, and then overall, it just looks like there's stagnant energy in regards to love because of decisions that need to be made. Someone may be unable to make a decision because they don't have enough information available to make a decision. And it's just like, I can't make this decision unless I know this for sure or unless I have this type of uh, information presented before me until then I can't make a decision on what I need to do someone is conflicted about traveling or relocating I keep getting that I keep getting that mm. someone wants to know that something is okay they're like is it okay but I also feel like someone is maybe wanting to be rescued and feeling like they want you to cut them down or take them out of their suffering. It's like, can you please come take me out of my suffering? I'm waiting for you. It's kind of weird. I feel like somebody wants you to pursue them. So apparently if it's coming to me that way it makes me feel that if you feel that you are um the you have the type of mindset where you're like 
a man should pursue a woman or this person should pursue me because I left the ball in their court. Like whatever situation that was, I feel that spirit is like, no, in this situation, you have to pursue. You have to say something. You have to reach out first. And I think that's what the hang up is. I think you may be very reluctant or resistant towards doing that because you just feel like, why should I do that? Like you aren't seeing the logic in why you need to reach out first. Let me look at, um, let me look at justice. I feel like something is hidden from from view. Something's hidden. Or something might be in plain sight. Something is hidden in plain sight. So it's clarified by the Knight of Cups. Um which could be a water sign, Kansas, Scorpio, or Pisces. For the most part, I feel like it is about someone's feelings. It's been undecided what they're going to do with their feelings for you. Or they're still holding on, or they feel like it has to be fair. It has to be balanced. Like, I'm not going to show more feelings than you. Like, if I show my feelings, then you have to show some feelings. So there is some sort of debate mentally going on with who should go first, who should go next. Was that enough? But it's really coming from a place of insecurity. Someone is afraid to let their guards down and, and um, make things right again. I feel like whatever was unjust, you're going to get whatever it is that you asked for. You're going to get what you deserved. And it's going to be fair from the universe perspective. The universe is saying, this is what is fair. We're going to give you what is fair. Hmm. Now, also, there's a situation where uh, I think there's more than one person that you get to choose from. I think there's two people being put into your life and the universe is like, you decide what's best for you and then move forward. So once you make a decision on what's best for you, then that's when there, they'll, there will be movement. Um, you may be comparing two different energies, two different people, and asking yourself, if I move forward with this person, what would it be like? And if I move forward with this person, what would it be like? What do I like about this person? What do they have to offer? What do I like about the other? Someone is weighing the pros and cons. I feel if someone takes too long, at some point, someone gets forced into doing something or saying something before they're ready. So, you know, just like if you're taking too long at the diving board to jump in the water, someone comes up behind you and just like pushes you and, and makes the decision for you. They're like, you are holding up the line. Um, so it might not exactly be like that, but that's just kind of like the image that I'm getting is that someone's going to get forced into making a decision. Even like that weird thing I did that time, well, it needed to happen and it did give closure to the situation where, you know, I was snooping on someone's page and accidentally liked a picture. So I feel like something happens that you weren't expecting, but the universe does it um, in order to bring clarity to a matter. 
So, yeah. There are, there is going to be a, a, a return or a reconciliation or you're going to have closure with your past. This, even if you're not wanting to go back to someone from your past, I feel like it's still saying that once you have closure with your past, that's when a new soulmate can enter. So it does look like a, a new soulmate comes into your life. Um, for some of you, it's new. For some, for others of you, it's, it's old energy. It's just that you guys had reached a point where something was stagnant. Um, if you are currently in a situation where you are saying, should I go or should I stay? I feel like you can't make that decision yet. You just... It's not time. Everything will fall into place. Something, a piece of information is going to fall out that helps you make that decision. So something will become very apparent to you. Now, if this is a situation where it's either new love or a reconciliation, um, I feel that Someone is waiting for the other person, like I said. There's someone needs a safety net. They're like, I need to know that it is safe for me to open up. I need to know that you aren't going to reject me if I tell you I'm still into you. I, you know, like someone needs to know. And it's kind of like, well, how do you know? How do you know for sure? You, you don't know unless you take a risk or, you know, some sort of chance. So I'm feeling like that may be the case. Like you don't know until you try. Um, and it looks like it's very scary. You know, someone is terrified to reveal their deepest feelings for you. In fact, it could be what's crazy is that it's probably mutual. This is two people still deeply in love, still passionate about each other and both terrified to let the other person know, even if there have been clear signs that they want to talk. I feel like there's always going to be doubts. Let's say there is a situation where there's been indirect communication on social media. Let's say you guys still follow each other um, and you're seeing messages and you're like, I know those messages are for me. And you guys are both just kind of like sending these smoke signals to each other. Um, but then you still saying, but I don't know. I might be crazy or I might be wrong. And then the minute I kind of reach out to them, they're going to be like, oh, ouch, sorry, that message wasn't for you. So I think you guys are terrified of that scenario. Um, but it looks like the reality is that you guys are on the same page. You guys are both waiting for each other. There's still a mutual attraction. I feel like there's a mutual desire to let your guards down and, and share and get back to normal. Like there's this desire for things to be back how they used to be. So I feel like this uh, applies more so for those of you that are wanting some sort of reconciliation or wanting to hear uh, from someone from the past. Um, so when it's like, I'm ready if you are, but I need to see it. And then it's just this, you go first. No, you go first. You guys are a reflection of each other's deepest insecurities, paranoias, uh, trust and abandonment issues, and you're needing to confront them. So I do feel like someone gradually opens up this is a gradual like let's not rush I feel like someone also they do want to rush I think someone is um saying all sorts of things from a distance but when it comes to saying things directly we start like saying little things so eventually though it does look like someone opens up and says something and it's going to be very scary. I just still feel like this is an emotional connection. Something is still raw. 
something is still sensitive um someone still has a raw heart is what is what I'm getting um mm, very sensitive energies so you might not have healed part of the healing process might be to confront what you're afraid of though um I also feel that you are needing to listen to your intuition. Your intuition, I feel like, is telling you right, but you don't. When you start doubting your intuition, that's when you become uh, delusional or paranoid, or you think you're delusional, or you think you're experiencing an illusion because you're not trusting your first initial instinct. Fears definitely could uh, prevent you from moving forward and opening up to someone that you care deeply about. And you guys, I feel like you had this issue in a previous life where you guys kept trying to run away from each other. Um, there's also something very mysterious about the person that you're connecting to or, you know, the person that is coming towards you. So even if you feel like, well, I haven't met anybody, I haven't talked to anybody, it looks like both of these indicate that someone from the past is going to return, you're going to hear from them. Um, and when it happens, I feel like you're going to be like, I thought I was ready, I thought I was ready. It's like you always think you're ready until you're put in that predicament, and then you just kind of lose it. Um... So it makes me think of that situation. I've, I've talked about it in the past where you feel like you're strong and you're healed because you've been alone or you've been single um, for a while or for however long you've been single. But the minute someone enters your life or the minute there's an opportunity for love, you, you panic and you're like, oh, no. And you start pushing people away and th those uh, you get triggered. You know, it's like something gets triggered and you're like, oh, th this person's going to hurt me. Um, this person's going to push me away. This person's going to leave me. So I feel like there's going to be an initial of letting down the guards. But then um, you start to get scared in the middle of it. Um, I feel like my only advice is that if both people are willing to work together together, try your best not to run away from each other um so especially if you don't have um a legitimate reason to be afraid if you haven't seen if nothing is proving that they're going to leave you or hurt you then that's that may be in your imagination so you have to fill it out everyone's situation is going to be different so I hope those messages helped. Uh, feel free to leave your comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Many blessings to you.